Hello students, today we are going to learn about the formulas and functions in MS Excel. Formulas are used to perform calculations involving addition, subtraction, division and multiplication. It establishes a relationship between two or more cells. A formula is an expression that can include cell addresses, numbers, arithmetic operators and parentheses. We can perform simple as well as complex calculations using functions. Alright, can you quickly recall how do we define formulas? Formula must begin with equal to symbol followed by cell references and operators. It may contain any one or more of the following elements. References this will be the cell or range of cells that you want to choose in your calculation. Operators. These are the symbols like plus, minus, multiply, divide, percent, etc. that specify the calculation to be performed. Constants. These are numbers or text values that do not change. And functions. These are predefined formulas in Excel. These are the elements of formulas in Excel. This is the cell address. This is the equal to symbol. These are the mathematical operators. And this is the function. Students, please note that worksheet formulas are not case sensitive. That is, capital B5 is same as small b5. Okay. Now let us first learn how to create a basic formula. Basic formulas involve only one operator in a formula. Let us calculate the sum of numbers in B4, B5 up to B9 and display the result in B11. Follow the steps. Click on cell B11 where you want to display the total. Type the equal to sign. Click on cell B4. Its address will appear in cell B11. Type the plus sign after that. Further, repeat the steps till B9 or type equal to B4 plus B5 plus B6 B7 B8 plus B9 in B11. Press the enter key. Cell B11 will display the total of all values from B4 to B9. Students, we can copy the formula from the above cell by pressing Ctrl plus apostrophe. Let us now learn how to use compound formulas. Compound formulas are used when you need more than one operator. Let us calculate simple interest using the formula P into R into T divided by 100. Follow the given steps. Click on the cell B8 and type equal to. Click on the cell B5. The cell address B5 appears in the cell B8. Type multiply sign and click on the cell B6. Type multiply sign in B8 and click on the cell B7. Type divide sign and 100 in the cell B8. Press the enter key. The cell B8 displays the calculated result of simple interest. Note that the result appears in the cell but the actual formula appears on the formula bar. Okay students. To quickly enter or modify a formula in a cell, you can also press F2 after selecting the cell. Now, we shall learn how to use text formulas. We can perform addition on character and string data type. Except for addition, other operations like subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. are not allowed. We use the symbol AMP for addition. Follow the steps given below. Enter two strings type values in cell A1 and B1. Say Kips in A1 
and India in B1. Enter the formula equal to A1 and B1 in cell C1. And press enter. It will display Kips India in the cell C1. Students, note that addition on string type data means placing one value after another. Okay, let us now learn how to use ranges in formula. You can assign multiple cells to a formula by creating a reference or a range. Ranges save a lot of time. I hope you can recall that range in a rectangular area consisting of group of cells adjacent to each other. It can be an entire worksheet as well. For example, if you want to calculate the sum of columns or rows, it is always better to define a range. Type the data as given in the figure. Click on the cell B11 and type the formula equal to sum open bracket B4. Column B9 close bracket. Press the enter key. The value will be displayed in the cell B11. Similarly, calculate sum in the cell C11. Now we shall discuss the types of cell reference. The cell address is the formula is known as the cell reference. With references, you can use the data in different parts of the worksheet. There are three types of cell references. The first is the relative reference. When you create a formula, references to a cell or ranges are usually based on the position relative to the cell. When you copy or move the formula to other cells, the reference cell automatically gets changed. For example, if the formula in A3 is equal to A1 plus A2 and when you copy the formula from A3 to B3, Excel automatically changes the reference to match the location of cells that is equal to B1 